about my little tattletales. How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Jenny Mai, this moment might be bittersweet. If you guys don't know, Jeezy has been all over the place acting like he is a single man. Talking about me and Jenny's values didn't align. Everybody started going after Jenny, talking about, oh, it's because she had her family around. Baby, it's nice to see somebody has their family around because Jeezy just forgot he got a daughter. He forgot he got kids. He is out there single and ready to mingle. If you guys don't know, he just had his annual snowman ball. Now listen, y'all can praise that for helping kids, but baby, charity begins at home and you can help the whole neighborhood, but what have you done to the people that actually share your blood? You guys, Jeezy, Jenny is has been taking little, in my opinion, right? Let me know what you think. Little subs at Jeezy's narrative about the way he wants joint custody and this and that, and he's all about family values. And the reason he divorced Jenny was because their family values didn't align. Now here's the thing, Young Jock came out and said, baby, Jeezy is leaving Jenny because she probably, her family values were probably too strong. If you guys don't know, they said, you know, they was wild and free, but when the baby came, Jenny, she's, he basically said, I think Jeezy had her trying to push her into stuff that she wasn't comfortable doing. I thought that was some bringing in second, third, fourth, fifth, you know, going out and finding, picking the groupies you like best to go home with Jeezy. He literally said that Jenny's core values, if you listen to the whole interview, was probably the reason they were divorcing because there were certain things that Jenny would not do to Jeezy. I know some of y'all want to paint him as the Messiah and get this, Jenny's not innocent. She's an adult. Nobody's innocent except for Jesus and kids, right? But my whole point of the matter is Jeezy has been a walking red flag. And just because he got a couple of dollars and just because he show y'all living the life, getting shape ups, doing this, blah, blah, that don't mean that you actually have good intentions. And it don't mean you got a, a good person. It means you got money. And what does that mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, right? Jenny and a lot of people said Jock wouldn't know. Jock wouldn't know because Jock kept saying Jenny was the one with traditional values. And when she had that kid, she wanted to be more traditional. Okay. Jenny posted this on Instagram saying the most important thing in my, in my world, the most important thing in my world is family. Now, if you guys don't know, and it was a cute little montage of um, Monaco dressed as Baby Shark. Jenny, like, you know, just being the best mom that she can. Now, I do want to say this, right? Because it's important to point out. As much as y'all want to sit there and say there's something wrong with Jenny and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And she got this and she got that. She must not be that bad because Jeezy is fine basically being an absentee father. If you guys don't know, Jenny's been showing us for the last two weeks that Monaco is in California with her. She is the primary caregiver. She is a single mom. Meanwhile, Jeezy is showing what he's doing for all these kids in Atlanta, but are you really? Or are you really just doing something to promote your ego because that's part of your book, The Snowman, this and that? Yeah, you might've had that four years, but at the end of the day, baby, if you can't take care of home, what could you take care of? Now, I do wanna say this, right? Jenny got, uh, uh, like, oh, too bad it was him. That, that little girl is beautiful. And I'm sure when she was conceived, there was a lot of love. But Jeezy is a piece of work. And I don't care what y'all say, the best way you can see about how somebody will treat you is to see how they treated their ex, right? Let's not forget that Jeezy's ex-fiance, that was the girl he was with before he got with Jenny, Mai, right? were are embroiled and were embroiled in a bitter back and forth over the child custody agreement. This is the man bragging about how much money he got. Yeah, the snowman. This is the man up there showing on Instagram like, yeah, this is solid individuals. The question is, Ninja, are you a solid individual? Listen to the type of man that Jeannie's gonna have to, and again, Jeannie picked him, Jeannie chose him. But honestly, sometimes you do think people are going to grow up and sometimes they just never grow up, right? Mai has accused Jeezy multiple times of defaulting on child support payments and not fulfilling his promise to purchase a new car. Now, before some of y'all dusties come in my comments being like, 
how you can have a baby and want to demand a car. Listen, I don't know where you're from. I cannot speak to the level of depravity that you guys are thinking. But if there is a person, man or woman, that is a multimillionaire, and the person that is watching my kid, watching my kid 24 hours a day so I can go gallivant and act like I'm single. I don't care if I'm man or woman. If the father had the baby all the time, if the mom had the baby all the time, and you are watching my kid 24 seven so I can go gallivant and pretend like I'm a single mom, single dad, right? Uh, a single person. Why wouldn't I just spend 80,000 to buy you a car? It's nothing. It's a tax write-off. Why wouldn't I? The fact that some of y'all got so much misery in your hearts that you would see someone when they have more than enough money to support their child. You want your child on a bus, but you living in a mansion? I don't know, it's a sort of depravity I can't deal with. Poverty is not what's in your bank account. It's in your mind. I'm just saying that, right? Anyway, the judge ordered that he had to buy a car because get this, um, he also said that Molly was jealous of Jenny and using their child support case to retaliate. This man who wasn't paying child support, she had to literally order a, a, a motion of contempt or actually judge the issue of order of contempt because everything the judge told him to do, he wasn't doing. And then he's like, you just jealous. Jeezy's toxic. He's And he's stingy. Listen. Um, she accused Jeezy of failing to enroll in co-parenting and in, in a co-parenting app so he was saying that like oh you jealous of my girl you just jealous and she's just like nigga you have not paid me any money what you mean i'm jealous i want our child taken care of i have to drive all this way to bring the baby to come see you and if i don't have a car right he then gave her one of his cars the car got in an accident that car was paid for out of insurance. He never substituted a car. The court order was for him to get a car in her name. And I have a feeling why he didn't give her her own car in her name. Because he wanted control. He wanted access. You know guys like that. They just want access. Anyway, right? He was like, oh, you're jealous. She was like, okay, we don't need to talk. There's an app that helps with co-parenting. And we can schedule everything through the app. And we don't never have to talk or communicate. He wouldn't enroll in the app. So how am I jealous of your new girl? But the app that would make it so that we don't have to communicate, but our schedules link up, you don't want to enroll in. It's almost like you want to keep me in your pocket. You want to talk to me. You just don't want me to demand anything from you. Um, he also wouldn't provide, the multimillionaire, Jeezy loves the kids, would not provide life insurance, right? Um, okay. He was also, he also said that my threatened to unalive him and he feared for her emotional safety and the safety of his daughter. He said all that, but he never made any attempt to get joint custody. And when my was like, he's lying. I want to see some proof of this. Jeezy was not able to give one ounce of proof, not any audio, not any video, not any text messages, but get this. Also, not any visits. She didn't mess with them like that. She never came to see him. They were the, they were never in the same space. He had nothing to show except for lies that he made up. On top of that, um, oh my God, he agreed to pay my seventy five hundred a month because he said he only made one hundred and thirty five thousand uh, a monthly. Um, he agreed to pay thirty in school fees while providing health and life insurance. The point of contention between them was an additional 30,000. He agreed. Anyway, the car, blah, 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 blah. Um, listen, he also claimed that she's the sole caretaker of the daughter because she has no available close family by. But GC argues he shares in parenting duties. He says there are available family in the area. She refuses help from. Listen, Jeezy's a mess. Even how Jenny was like, family is the most important thing in my life. And Jeezy put that smart ass Thomas time on Yeezy loves the kids. Y'all listen again, y'all can think that man is a catch. Y'all can think of a million reasons about why Jenny Mai dropped the ball 
I really don't want to hear it. All I want to say is, ladies, he's single. That's your king. That's your high valley man. Go ahead and take a bite at the apple. You're going to find out it's rotten and poison just like everybody else. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.